Right then, we're not doing the whole of Hutton Wood and we're not doing the whole of that. We often come back through it and I'm sure I'll be doing it again at another point. They haven't done the wall all the way along here yet, but further up they have done the wall. Now what I am hoping, I might come back, if that grass is too long there, I'll come back. But um, at the moment, I'm going to go see if we can get through. It's early morning dew, you see. It's quite likely I'll get wet feet. I don't know. But it's not ultra long. All I've got to do is climb over the top. It, <coughs> it's not ultra long. So. Right, okay, let's go for it. Let's go for it, go. We're going over to a gate. And then we're getting on the Roman road. Anyone who hasn't seen videos, there are previous walks here <coughs> by myself. God, they've done it's very prominent. They've done the wall right the way up to here now. That's good. They've gradually worked their way along, I think. <coughs> and it does look like a, there might be a path. Yeah, he's just going to have to go through it, Shill. I think, don't you? Yeah. He's just going to have to go through it. It's not really far. So this is the 10th of October, 2024. The year is nearly gone already. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, so, yes, yeah, so I would say, I often walk through, all the way through that. But not today, because we're on a bigger walk. And, uh, <coughs> I've got to walk through quite long grass, actually, really. But it's, only, it's only two over there. Um, right, I'm going to turn off then, folks. Just the lovely views. All beautiful hills that I've walked all the way, all the way over here in the past, over the months and weeks and years. <sighs> Kept me sane, which is what I need. This is probably a video sane. three. Um, I came out of the wood, crossed the field, got over the gate, walked up a bit of Roman road, took some pictures of some scenes. And now I'm walking around what will be a very mucky, muddy bridle path. Gets churned up by the horses that come along here a lot. Um, so this is what I'm doing. This is going to link up with a very humpy, bumpy, wibbly, wobbly path when I come to the end of here. And I go up that. And in fact, this is all part of the West Mendip Way, by the way. Um, the West Mendip Way, which is going to take us to a little village called Loxton, where I normally always go in the church. It was even open most of the time during Covid. Very ancient church. It's very peaceful and I always go in just say hello when I when I pass there. Sometimes I sit on the bench and have a bit of picnic in preparation. But I always know I shouldn't eat anything. I shouldn't eat anything at all. Get to tell the truth until I get up Crook's Peak. <laughs> because of indigestion. There won't be time today for St Leonard's, but what I thought I could do one day is drive out to Winscombe park, do parts, do another part of um, Wavery Down and, and go to, to St Leonard's, um, or St Andrew's I mean, St Andrew's, 
and um, have a little visit there. I always do that in memory of my third cousin in Canada who passed. And we, I was sharing her Somerset stuff with her. Um, so, we were related. Fletchers. And of course, Elon Musk has got Fletchers in his family via his mother's side, which I haven't investigated properly yet. And, believe it or not, they're based in Lincoln, are they? Yeah. They're based in Lincoln. Oh, God. That would that must be the only reason, really, apart from maybe popping in to visit somebody, um, of going back to Lincoln to do the bit of tree work there for his mother, I mean, who lives in Canada. Um, I don't know if she was born in Canada. I haven't done anything on her yet. Um, and it's always nice to get the, picture, the full picture because she's got Fletchers. Fletchers that went to Canada. We've got Fletchers that went to Canada. You see what I mean? There's so much similarity between Elon Musk for both your sides. I mean, come on. Two of his great-great-uncles married two of my great-great-aunts. They lived in the same road. <laughs> they probably went to school together. See what I mean? The closeness. There's such a big, strong connection there. So, I need to do more on the Fletchers anyway. I've got loads to do. I've got Crispins I need to do. Woods and Smiths, which are getting more difficult. Smiths especially are very, 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 very difficult. My Smith tree. To be, I haven't really done a lot on it. It's really odd. I probably need, probably need an expert to help me with that. Right, Sheila, where, which way are you going? Um, which way am I going? You're going to risk going that way? Or that way? I would say very mucky there, very brambly. You're going to have to start off there and then try and get across there. Do you want to watch everyone? Well, I struggle with this, although I probably need two hands. Trees are often helpful. Hi, tree. Thank you for lending me an arm, a branch. Because it's very, um, you might be able to make it right across there, Jill. If not, you've got to get across that bit. And there is, that looks quite hard there. Um, what do you think? Now I'm going to carry on this way. I'm going to carry on. This doesn't get any better now for the rest of the winter, by the way, here. In fact, it can get worse. It's, I mean, there are ways that some people, I think, have walked up around that way when it gets worse. That is a path that will open up to us. Okay, we don't need it yet. And, um, we can carry on round. Like I say, the trees help. But there's a little path right round that tree when this becomes much more filled with water. So, lovely walk, lovely day. I couldn't put, picked up. It could change mine. What time is it? It's already 10 to 11. You know what I mean? So that's only two hours since I left home. I had to get a bus. But it did take me a while getting up the hill. I mean, the thing is now, the, the, why I don't like doing this bus really, is there's a huge gap. It's like, I could just miss that four o'clock bus, and you've got to wait nearly two and a half hours. Well, I, I decided I'd probably go and get some chips, sit in a cafe and have something to eat, and uh, wait. That's all you can do. So I got frozen to death. Last year, around about this time, when the bus didn't come for an hour, it was an hour late. 
and I was really cold. I had to go into a cafe and have a hot cocoa, which cost me nearly a fiver. You know, it was awful. Really put, I don't think I went over there again on a bus for the rest of the winter. So it was just too much to wait around in the cold like that. Anyway, we're now on the wibbly wobbly track. Um, Canada Coombs down there. The plantation that I talk about in other videos is over there. We've just come out of a bridle path. The bag isn't so heavy, I've rearranged it. In fact, it's, I can hardly feel it. It just shows if you rearrange um, and distribute the, the weight better, I mean, after a while, it does start sinking down in the bag like a sack of spuds. But uh, as I eat the food and drink the water, I haven't taken, I haven't got a great deal. I've got two, I've had a drink of water out of a bottle from yesterday. And I've got one whole bottle of water and two juices. It's not the summer, it's not going to be, you know, 28 degrees or anything or 30 I've been out in 31 degrees this year um, and it, on those days I take three bottles of water two juices and oranges and I tank up before I go you know with water I make sure I'm well hydrated some lovely views here look all over there folks we've got uh, a beautiful Wilbury Woods and Weston's Hill Fort, which I, that is my rescue area as well. That, is, that wood has really helped me in the past. It really has. When I've been through trauma, bad trauma, not, not just a few heart flutterings, this is like the nasty stuff. But um, now I, I just come out and I, just love it, love everything. And now, like I said, the weather could change by midday. Although we started off, it's going on for 11 now. By two, it could be completely different. I didn't check the weather. I usually do. All I can remember, they said it was going to be dry. And I went out on Sand Bay yesterday, said it was going to be dry, and it actually started to rain, but not heavily. It was a sprinkle. But even sprinkles, you can get damp. My shoes are drying out. These shoes are really good. They got quite wet. They brushed the water off, just floated off the top. And then they got these minute micro holes that allow the water to evaporate. So your socks don't actually get wet. Um, and that's what I like about these. They might look cheap and nasty, but they're actually very good. I think they cost me about 40 odd quid. I bought shoes for £120 before now, and you know what? They haven't lasted very long. And they didn't always stay waterproof. So now I, I don't go down that track just to get a designer shoe. You know, no way. Yeah, I, it is worth investing in good socks. I mean, this is the sort of things you learn when you're a hiker. You pick up these tidbits, and it can take a while. It can take years, actually, to build up your knowledge. Now, one of my plans for very early spring next year, April, is to get away. I've got to get away, because I've got to keep my fingers crossed with this car. We'll pass that MOC. So, and which is in June. So basically, and do you know how much insurance is? 700 quid. Is it? Yeah, because I had no claims bonus. I didn't have any because I hadn't driven for a couple of years. So all the no, no claims bonus I had was loads if I had still been driving. I lost it all because I went over the two year period not free choice right I'm just going to zoom in where I'll tell you where we're going right over there Crooks Peak right over there okay 
And it is, um, I might have to get the later bus. And what I was going back to buses again is that they cut out the five o'clock. They give you a two and a half hour gap. So imagine you get back, you just miss that four o'clock bus. You've got a two and a half hour wait. It's really bad. Not only that, most of Cheddar packs up at four o'clock. So you'd be lucky to find anything open. Obviously the pubs are open. And I thought, I want to enjoy this, because I was only talking about it last week, how nice it was to go out in the vehicle. Right? How nice it was to go out in the vehicle and not have to worry about bus times and having to think all the time what the time was. Would you make it for the bus? Just seen a Land Rover up there. Could be somebody doing their gardening, pruning. There's Wavery down. I'll be climbing up that later, don't forget. Yeah, I'll be climbing up that later. Right on the top, I'll be up near the trig point. It's a long walk to get. Like I said, if I have to get the half past six, I'll get the half past six. I'll just go in the pub and have pints of Guinness. Well, yeah, I just decided I ain't going to worry about it. Right, over and out.